What is happening guys? Jonathan here, aka Crazy Shadow 303 here with a very rare live watch along on the channel. Um, I'm obviously trying new things for next season, so I'm uh, I'm attempting a watch along video. Uh, so yeah, um, join the Shadow Squad, subscribe if you like this uh, watch along, and yeah, hopefully we can get a win against uh, Nottingham Forest at the City Ground. Um, it's the last game of the day, and I've got to say, some great action in the championship earlier. And, yeah, um, that's that's a little bit distracting at the moment. So, one moment. Uh, <laughs> just got to lower them talking, because uh, I've got the... Uh, the um, the match on now, uh, but like, you know, you know what it is. It's like post-match, um, like pre-match stuff uh, that they're talking about. So, um, yeah, uh, basically, guys, I've got it right here and I'm ready to go. Um, oh, there's a paraglider. <laughs> OK, I, I was I was going to say what? Uh, so, yeah, um, let's see how well this goes, guys. I'm just checking some stuff for the channel, so... So yeah, make sure all the alerts are out and everything like that. Yeah, it's up on the um, yeah, it's up on the uh, channel. So that's that's brilliant. That was one of my main concerns that I was talking and it's not showing up on the uh, you know the what's it the channel. Um, also, guys, uh, again, if you subscribe, you know uh, it's not two hundred and fifty six. I was just testing it out a little bit. It's actually two hundred and fifty four. But my goal is to get 500 subscribers by the end of May. So, you know, and of course, follow my other social media, um, which are down below. My Twitter, uh, my YouTube, of course, and my TikTok. Um, also, my Twitch channel as well, uh, Crazy Shadow 303 So, here we go, guys. Uh, so, yeah. Live from the city ground, Nottingham Forest versus West Bromwich Albion. Come on, baggies, boy boing. So, and my Albion blanket has already dropped down. Uh, so, Nottingham Forest in fifth on 67. We're not going to catch them at the moment. Uh, we're down in 12th on 60. Uh, if we win this game, we could go as high as eighth. So, we might be right back in it. You don't know. But, yeah, um... Let's see. Let's see how this goes. Let me try and get some uh, some alerts out. Uh, so here we go. Um, let me just get onto Discord a little bit. Uh, yep. So hang on. Where's my actual tweet? <laughs> uh, Shadow Squad Live with Nottingham Forest versus West Brom Live Watch Along. Come hang. Out. There we go. Uh, hashtag WBA. There we go. No, 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 no. It's not. It's not my Twitch link. Hang on, one sec, guys. <laughs> it's not my Twitch link. It's my YouTube link. Uh, so copy that and paste it there. There we go. Copy and tweet it. There we go. So is that is that coming through to the channel? Yes, it is. Good, good. Oh, bear with me, guys. This is like the first watch along I've done in quite some time. Uh, uh, just just let me know, guys. Uh, is the audio all coming good? Um, because I don't really want to do like the match audio itself because copyright issues but is my audio okay uh everything like that 
uh, are you all are you all good um so yeah let me just hit my discord that's streamlabs that's not discord Yep, there we go. So YouTube announcements and paste. There we go. Right. Here we go, guys. Yep, the deaf and Nigel Pearson. Nigel Pearson um, sadly passed away this week. Big West Bromwich Albion fan. Also worked for Sky Sports. So Sky Sports are obviously uh, doing a bit for him. You know. So Nottingham Forest in their classic home strip of red shirts, white shorts. Uh, we are actually in our, our yellow kit. Our yellow away kit. Yellow and blue. So yeah, come on baggies. Let me just check something right here. So here we go. Teams are heading out now. Right, so have I got chat on here? Yeah, there's chat. Okay, so that's that's all good there. That's all good. Hi, Will. Uh, Will fourteen seventy seven. Hi, Shadow. Love the vlogs from a Newcastle van. Keep up the good work. Thank you, mate, so much. Uh, right, so Nottingham Forest. They've got Samba, Warhol, Figueiredo. McKenna, Spence, Yates, Gardner, uh, Colback, Zangarangle, Zangarangle, Zinkerangle, uh, Johnston, and Sam Surridge. He's got a, he's one to watch out for uh, on the bench. Hoe Flair, Myton, Cafu, Silva. Right, so we've got we got David Button in goal. Uh, we've got a back three of Dar Roche, Carl Bartley, and Matty Clark. Uh, we've got the wing backs of Donnell Furlong and Connor Townsend. We got Jake Livermore, the captain in the centre, with Moat and Reach, uh, Alex Moat, Adam Reach, and a front two of Carlin Grant and Andy Carroll. That's interesting. Uh, on the bench, Palmer Ajoy, Callum Robinson, Matt Phillips, Grady Dean Garner, Jason Malumbi, and Taylor Garner Hickman. So come on, guys, that that is strong. That is a strong um, strong squad. So yeah. Really, really looking forward to this. So, come on. Oh, where's everything gone? One sec, guys. <laughs> Get back up there, Sky Sports. Get back up there. Streamlabs. <laughs> Not sure what happened there, but uh, everything just decided to go down to the taskbar. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so I've got, I've got that there. Right, so drop that. Uh, let's just bring chat over here. There we go. So yeah, Will fourteen seventy seven. Thank you for uh, thank you for watching, mate. Um, like I said, hi Shadow. Love the vlogs from a Newcastle fan. Keep up the great work. Thank you, mate. Hopefully, you know. I mean, I'm not saying we'll be in there like next season because obviously, getting into the playoffs alone is a bit of an ask. But guys, you, you're Newcastle fans. You're doing. You should be proud, man. You, you've avoided relegation. You've done really well. And, yeah, um, hope to see you in the Premier League very soon. Uh, <laughs> so, here we go, guys. Moat to kick off for Albion. So, just that. Yeah, so just, um, just give me some feedback, guys. Audio, all good. Um, you know, I don't really want to see... I don't really want to hear uh, much of the game through the stream due to copyright, obviously. But can you hear me okay? Albion have just kicked off. Here we go, guys. Come on. Uh, sorry I haven't got a timer on. I didn't have time to do all that. But, yeah, I've obviously got the up oh, there. <laughs> I've 
Obviously, I've got the uh, current score on now. So, yeah. So, all. Okay, so, um, Forrest tried to break free early. So, <laughs> right. If I go quiet, guys, it's, you know, it's not. Yeah, it, it, it's not for want of trying. I'm just trying to figure out new things for the channel, ready for next season. Uh, this is just a test watch along, really. Uh, so, yeah. Oh, so each. And he just runs out of space and button collects uh, cleanly. Uh, so, Forrest, first minute. First minute attack for Forrest. Come on, guys. Oh, that's our throw. That's our throw. Can I just reset that um, follow goal? One sec, guys. Uh, because it's showing the wrong... Uh, wrong amount. Uh, no, that's not worked. Hang on. One sec, guys. Uh, <laughs> Matthew Armitage, thank you. Come on, you baggies. Yes, absolutely. Come on, baggies. If we win this, we could go as high as eighth, you know, and be within, like, three points of the uh, playoffs. But, you know, let me know, guys, with this current team, would you want us in the playoffs? Um, because, you know, I mean, I'll tell you my uh, opinions later. But, you know, would you really want this team... You know, if we do get in the playoffs, would you want this team in the playoffs, really? Because, you know, it's uh, it's uh it could be up to three extra games, uh, one at Wembley. Um, and, you know, the us Baggies fans have suffered every emotion in the book this season, haven't we, guys? We've, we've like, four games to go. We've suffered every, uh, <laughs> every emotion in the book. <laughs> so, here we go. Uh, can I get this... Because it's saying 256 when it should be 254. Uh, yeah, 254 it should say. So let me just temporarily end this goal and then redo all the info for it. Because uh, I was like testing all the, uh, the subscriber alerts. Matthew, yeah, absolutely. We aren't ready. We aren't ready. So would we, would we really want... Um, you know, playoffs at the moment, because, yeah, I I really don't see, like, recent performances, I mean, we, we did well against Fulham and Bournemouth, and managed to sneak a draw out of uh, Huddersfield, but I just don't see us winning the playoffs, you know, so what I've said, and I said this uh, in the last vlog, uh, the Blackpool one on Friday, you know, just get through this season, get rid of the Deadwood, and go again next season and go for promotion next season. You know, I mean, for all we know, I mean, the rumours are there during the week. We might even have Sean Dyche in charge of us. Uh, so, yeah, if the rumours are true. So, you know, you never know. I mean, again, would you take Sean Dyche? You know, so. So, Matt Clark clears only to a Forest uh, player. Uh, Livermore get through. Oh, to Carl and Grant. Come on. Carl and Grant. Go on. Oh, it's blocked. It's blocked. Oh, that, that was a good effort. That was a good effort. Uh, Grant shot blocked by um, Forest defenders. But that was decent. Oh, he's dinked it over. Oh, Grant couldn't control it. Yates has got it for Forest, But well tackled by um, by Malombe. Uh, sorry, Reach. And he's drawn the foul. Dangerous, uh, dangerous position um, for Forrest. Uh, yeah, Adam Reach took the ball off him, and all the defender could do, the Forrest defender, was foul Adam Reach. So yeah, this is a free kick. Come on, stick this in. Five minutes played, guys. Five minutes played. We get a free kick. Come on. Come on, absolutely, we could do this. Come on. 
Who's taking it? Is it Moat or Reach? It is Reach. Adam Reach. Oh, he's dotted it. He's, oh. I was trying. He was trying to dink over. But it's out for Forest Throw. Oh, what was that? What was that? He's trying to dink it over, but he put too much on it. And it would have been offside anyway. It would have been offside as well. So, oh, my days. That is, you know, why, why didn't you take the sharp, mate? That was dangerous. Why didn't you take the sharp? Adam Reach, come on, man. Uh... Right, that's it. That's it. I fixed it. <laughs> I fixed the sub goal. Uh, so yeah, guys. Um, you know, obviously the subscriber goal. I'm looking to get to 500. Hopefully by the end of May. It is a bit of a task, I know. Um, but yeah, you know, furlong with a with a wayward shot. It looked like good ball there. Oh. Oh, Furlong couldn't get through. Oh wait, there he is. Ah, oh, he was trying to he was trying to set up Livermore or Grant. Um but he didn't quite pull it off. Throw into Forest. There was that Steve Bruce keeping hold of the ball then? It was. One win in ten away from home. Seven of those were defeats. Let's hope it's not a defeat this time. Come on, baggies. Oh, no. They're through. They're through. Oh, good save button. Good save. Good save button. Come on. Oh, what a ball. Oh, but defender heads it to their keeper. Nearly eight minutes played. Nearly eight minutes played. Johnston has been mentioned already. <laughs> it's end to end at the moment, guys. It is end to end at the moment. Obviously, Nottingham in their red and white kit. Oh, that's way over. Nottingham in their obvious red and white kit. Um, and we're in our yellow and blue away kit. So, come on, guys. There's Graham Potter. <laughs> yeah, our back three needs to wake up to um to Sam Savage because he's uh as they've said he's drifting in, you know from wide. You know our our back three, um O'Shea, Ajay, and um no Aj. O'Shea, Clark and Bartley need to wake up to that. Oh, no, 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 no. Back to Button. Button kicks it long. Doesn't quite get to Carroll. But we get the ball back now. We get the ball back now. Come on, are we? All right, so Button kicks it back out to Clark. Clark tries to ping it to Carroll. Carroll's being neutralised at the moment. Ronnie Oxmall, Oxmail. Uh, no, it's Oxmall. It's an I, not an. It's another L, not an I. <laughs> Thank you, Ronnie. Uh, yes, mate. Absolutely. <laughs> Welcome in, Ronnie. Hope you enjoy the uh, the watch along. This is. Really just a test watch along uh, for next season. So, yeah, I'm hoping to do more of these if and when Albion's away games get televised. Because, of course, I'm at every home game being a Hawthorne season ticket holder. So, I was, obviously, I do the vlogs. Not Graham Potter, Steve, Gorb, Steve Cooper. Where do I get Graham Potter from? <laughs> but, yeah, um, like I said, I'm, I'm a season ticket holder at the Hawthorns. I vlog every home game, as you probably see on my channel, um, as it is. And, 
Where am I watching the game? I'm actually watching it. Uh, it's it's in my flat. Um, my sister's obviously visiting. That's why she's in the back. Uh, in the background. But yeah, I'm watching from my flat, mate. I, I'm watching from my flat. You know, West Brom, you know, born and bred. Uh, managed to get a flat in my hometown. So I'm watching from there, mate. Uh, but obviously, you know, sisters come to visit and I'm obviously doing this watch along uh, right here. Um, I'm actually got my uh, Sky Go app um, open on the computer. Uh, honestly, it was a pain trying to get it to work, but I finally got it to work. And yeah, obviously I'm watching this on Sky Sports uh, main event um, via the Sky Go. So yeah. Uh, thank you for the comment, Dennis. And that's a free kick to Forrest. Um, obviously, this is just a test test watch along. You know, um, there's no, no followers yet. Yes, I'm watching on Sky Sports. Uh, Sky Sports main event, to be exact. Um, yeah, thanks, Dennis. Dennis? There's two S's. <laughs> Is it Dennis or Denise? Because obviously two S's. So, uh... <laughs> but yeah, guys, predictions, guys. What do you think the score is going to be? Um, you know, are Albion going to win? Is it going to be a draw? A Forest going to win and consolidate their playoff place? Uh, because this is a tough game. I mean. I was at the game against Blackpool on Friday and, man, did we struggle. But we managed to get the uh, last-minute winner at the Hawthorns on Friday. So, yeah. Um, and I'm also going to the Coventry game on Saturday. And I'm going to be vlogging that. So, Albion against Coventry. Uh, 3 o'clock kickoff, I believe, on Saturday. So, yeah, of course, I'm going to be uh, I'm going to be vlogging that as well. But here's Forrest with a dangerous free kick. 12 and a half minutes in, and it's way over. Thankfully for us, it is way over. 2-0 uh, baggies. Uh, awesome, Matthew. I'm actually going to predict 2-1. Um, I'm thinking Carroll and Grant, uh, the current front two playing at the moment, are going to get a goal each. Um, and for them, maybe Sam Surridge. Uh, so I'm, I'm predicting 2-1. But yeah, 2-0 baggies. Thank you for that, Matthew. Uh, button with a goal kick. 13 minutes in. But yeah, let me know, guys. How's the audio? You know, oh, O'Shea, well defended. Back to Button, who kicks it out. Oh, good press, good press, good tackle. As I said, I apologise. You know, I've done, I've watched loads of other watch-alongs for other teams. Oh, what's going on here? Donnell Furlong. Uh, I feel like we can still get promotion from playoff. It's possible. It's possible. But, you know, do we really want to repeat of last season? Uh, Donnell Furlong's about to get booked. Uh, yep, yellow card for Donnell Furlong. He's got to be careful now. 14 minutes and the first half played. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Zinka, Zinkanenko, I think his name is. Uh, I probably butchered his name, but he tried to get through, and Darnell Furlong was basically a brick wall. Um, but it's a foul. Uh, foul and a booking for Darnell Furlong. Uh, but, yeah, we could still get promotion. Um you know, we might we might not be the favourites if we get in promotion into the playoffs. Uh, but yeah, over it comes. Oh, good defending, Bartley. Good defending, Kyle. Oh, but Kyle gets Kyle gets tackled. No. Oh, it's a corner. It's a corner to Forrest. Wake up, Kyle. Oh, what was Kyle Bartley doing there? Come on, get back. Just. Just boot it out, Kyle. Come on. Oh. Oh, my days. From, from a decent defensive position, right. Uh, Carl Bartley's claiming handball, but it isn't handball. 
It isn't handball. Uh, but no, Forrest have got... Oh, <laughs> lucky for us, that didn't work for them. And it's way over. Just just keep shooting like that, Forrest. Keep shooting like that. Uh, <laughs> but yeah. Oh, my days. What was Carl Bartley doing there? What was he doing there? He he got the ball, you know, he could have just cleared it and he tries to play it out and it nearly cost us there. If it weren't for Dara Roche heading it over for a corner and their corner not being that good, then it would have been 1-0 Forest. Uh, but yeah. Oh, Moat gets... Oh, Moat. Moat got robbed there. Here comes Forrest again. Moat's trying to come back to make up. No! Oh, oh good defending. Oh, it's a penalty. Oh, tell me that's not a penalty. Oh, Furlong's been sent off. Oh, my days. What the hell? What the hell, man? Wait, what? Okay, he's... Ta Good tackle there from Furlong. Good tackle there. Oh, come on. Oh, Darnell, what the hell, man? Seventeen minutes in, we're down to ten men, and Forrest have a penalty. Oh my days, Darnell, what are you doing? What are you doing, mate? Where do we go from here, guys? Where do we go from here? Forrest have a penalty. We're down to 10 men. Nearly 18 minutes played. Where do we go from here? And now we haven't got Darnell Furlong for the Coventry game. Oh, my days. Oh... My days. David Button's trying to get in their heads. David Button is trying to get in their heads. Nottingham Forest fans don't like it. Oh my god, if we go one deal down here. Oh my days, oh my days, oh my days. Come on, Button, save this. Save it. One nil forest. One nil forest. Darnell Furlong, what the hell, man? Guys, if you're watching this um, along with the game itself, was that a handball by Darnell Furlong? It, it probably was, you know, but two two quick fire yellow cards. Uh, Brennan Johnson with the goal. Two quick fire yellow cards for Darnell Furlong. 1 0 down, down to 10 men. 20 minutes played of the first half. Unbelievable. Brennan Johnson with the goal. Can we hit back? Oh, come on. All right, if you booked Arnold Furlong for something like that, you book him. Thank you. 
At least this ref's consistent with the uh, bookings. On Connor Townsend. See, now we haven't got the wide man on um, on the right, have we? So, we've still got Connor Townsend on the left. Uh, Spence with the yellow card for Forrest. I honestly can't believe that. 20 minutes in. Down to 10 men. 1-0 down. We need an instant reply, don't we, guys? We need an instant reply. Moat with the uh, free kick. Come on, guys. Hit him straight away. Swung in. Carroll got there, but... Is he... That's... Was he being pulled back then? Oh, Forrest gave it away. That's as. No. Forrest throw. What the hell? Wake up, guys! No, no, no! Oh. Guys, you need to wake up, man. And Livermore is getting in the ref's face. Be careful. Be careful, Jake. Be careful. I think it's because they gained about 10 yards from where the ball went out to the throw. You know, and it, and it caught us off guard. It caught us off guard because from where the throw was supposed to go, you know, where the throw was supposed to be taken from Forrest, it was like 10 yards further down the pitch. So, yeah, Livermore had to be careful there. I know as captain, he does really have a right. And now we're on the back foot again, you know, because in, in West Brom's opinion, Forrest gained 10 yards illegally there. Uh, through the throw. And caught us off. God! And it was the referee that put us on the back foot there. It was the referee that allowed the throw to be taken quickly. And 10 yards further forward. And that put us right on the back foot. Uh. Guys. Oh, what, where's the defending, man? Oh, my days, West Brom. What the hell? Right. Yeah. It, yeah. Oh, that was our throw. Oh, these freaking referees, man. Uh, so it wasn't because the fact that they gained 10 yards. It was the fact that it should have been our throw. Ryan Yates with the goal. But, yeah, that's no excuse for, the, for our guys to go to sleep like that. That is absolutely no excuse. Yeah, just, you've still got a job. Just defend, guys. You know in this league, the referees ain't that good. <laughs> oh, come on, guys. Oh, my days. Right, we get a free kick. Thank you, referee. You didn't give us the, you didn't give us the, uh, the throw in and cost us another goal. But, you know, uh, absolutely, Dennis. The ref is an absolute joke. You know, these EFL refs, and now, rightly so, Steve Bruce is having a go at the fourth official, rightly so, because if the ref and the linesman couldn't see that little touch for, for the throw-in, oh, come on, guys! Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, but that's, that's no excuse for the team to go to sleep like that. Oh, my days. 2-0 down, 10 men down, 25 played. This is this is absolutely the worst start we could have you know, we could have done. This is the worst start. And now because two yellow cards and a red, we've lost Darnell Furlong for the commentary game. 
Oh my god! Yeah, that's reassuring. The only away side to win at the uh, City Ground City Ground this calendar year is Liverpool in the FA Cup. That's reassuring. Thank you, Sky Sports. Oh my god, 2-0 down, 25 played. 10 men down. Down to 10 men, sorry. Oh my god. Forest are loving this. Already they're just toying with us. You know, Carroll's doing his best. But they're just playing possession football now. Um, Forest are already. But yeah, that throw-in put us right on the back foot. And it should have been our throw-in. Oh my days. These, these referees sometimes. These referees. Oh, they're through again. Oh, get it! Oh! Tonight could well be the end of our season. I didn't see how rubbish this season been back in August. I really thought we'd go straight up. I fear... I fear for 10 next season. Mate, I feel ya. I feel ya. Thank you, Matthew. Uh, Dennis, uh, we have nothing to play for at the end of the day. Well, we were still like, what, you know, after everyone else had played, we're the last game of the day and we were still like six points behind the playoffs. But yeah, season done now, isn't it? You know, just play for pride on Saturday, to be honest, against Coventry. Uh, but yeah, already this game seems, you know, already this game seems, you know, lost. Unbelievable. How I don't see how we can get a two goal deficit with 10 men now. I really don't. But yeah. Oh. Forest with another corner. Uh, right. It's another one. Come on, defend it. We just can't... We just can't get out of our own half at the moment. Good defending there. Uh, offside for offside, luckily for us. Uh, so we get a free kick. Uh, Forest offside. Steve Bruce still not happy. And now Carlin, sub already. Carlin Grant off. Taylor Gardner Hickman in. Oh my days. Next few matches, we need to put our reserves and subs on the pitch. You know what? Absolutely. Absolutely. We we can't do any worse, can we? We we absolutely cannot do any worse. And now and now Carlin Grant off, Taylor Garner Hickman on. So yeah. Carlin Grant's not getting a goal today. And he's he's not he's not happy. And you know what? It's not entirely his fault. I mean Darnell Furlong's red card plus the referee's dodgy decision for their throw that led to their second goal. It's not completely Carlin Grant's fault, but come on, guys. I mean, we did come back from 2-0 down against Huddersfield at the Hawthorns to draw 2-2. Um, and maybe with TGH coming in, you know, we uh, we absolutely can, you know, get back into this game. But obviously, you know, we need to pull a goal back this half, to be honest. Because if we go in half-time 2-0 down with 10 men, you know, it's going to be tough second half. It is going to be tough. Half an hour played. Well, 29, 29 and a half minutes played. Keepers claim that. And he's released it pretty quickly, but luckily we, we get it. Moat. Yep, Moat to Townsend, back to Moat to Clark and back to Button. Carroll tried to get... They're isolated Andy Carroll. They are isolating Andy Carroll now. Half an hour played. They are absolutely isolating Andy Carroll. And now the keeper's getting involved. Oh, my days. Didn't think it would be this bad a start, guys. We, all, we always seem to play badly when Sky Sports cameras are on us. 
Don't know why. Right. That's out of reach to Bartley. Who passes it back to Button. Guys, you 2-0 down. Get it up there. Oh, man. I don't, I don't know what, what else to say right now. Bartley, Bartley, keep the ball. Why is he just booting it and it goes straight to a red shirt? Just keep possession, will ya? Oh, my freaking days, man. But yeah, as I said, guys, if you like what you see, um, subscribe uh, to Crazy Shadow 303 if you haven't already done so. Um, I'm aiming to get, you know, 500 subscribers by the end of May. I know it's going to be a bit of a challenge, you know, because I haven't got much time left and I'm only just over halfway to that goal. But yeah, absolutely. Uh, absolutely, guys. Um, you know, join the Shadow Squad to get notified on all new content on the channel. Um I'm doing mostly uh, match vlogs at the Hawthorns. Um, but, you know, this is like a test watch along for next season because I'm aiming to do um, do a few more of these watch alongs, uh, especially for our away games because I am a season ticket holder at the Hawthorns and I go to literally every home game and do vlogs there. So it'll be vlogs and watch alongs, uh, to be honest. Uh, thank you, Matthew. I fear an embarrassing night unless some miracle comes our way. Absolutely. Absolutely. We need we need a miracle. We need an absolute miracle. We found one against Huddersfield at the Hawthorns uh, last month. But, yeah, we absolutely need a miracle. Um, so, yeah. Forrest are just time with us right now. This is only consolidating their place in the playoff. You know, you could pretty much say that Forest, you know, with after this game, with three games to go, Forest have a very good shout for playoffs. You know, they've bottled it in the past, but I believe if they win this game, you know, they'll have a fair they'll have like their best chance for years to get in the playoffs. I know Forest have been bottlers for playoffs. Oh for God's sake, we miss misplaced pass again. Oh come on. Come on, Taylor. Oh yes. Taylor Garner Hickman wins it back after uh, after I think it was Alex Moat that lost it, but we lose it again, and here come Forrest. We lose it again. No, that was ball to hand. Frick off City Ground. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's that's too far for them. Luckily for us. Goal kick Albion. Steve Cooper's shouting at his players for trying the ball like that. Back to their keeper. So, yeah. If we lose this game, guys, um, who do you think... Who, who do you think should go? You know, I know I've been asked this question... Um, especially from, like, post-match interviews that I do uh, for a certain local newspaper. Um, but, yeah, who who do you think should go? I mean, yeah, that's a... that. All right, Jake, keep your call. We don't want to go down to nine. Oh, my days, Jake. We do not want to go down to nine men in this match because that will kill us. Calm down, Jake. Calm down. Button to Townsend. 
Uh, but yeah, who should who should go? Who should leave the club at the end of this season? Um, I mean, not you know. I mean, if Steve Bruce it w is to go, then who do you think we should get? West Brom most red cards this season tied with Derby. Tied with Derby on seven red cards, most this season. And that's been another problem of ours, discipline. Yeah, at the Hawthorns against Cardiff, there were two red cards. Two red cards, one of them for Sam Johnston uh, against Cardiff at the Hawthorns earlier this season. Um, but yeah, most red cards this season, West Brom and Derby, both with seven. Right. That's a, that's a free kick to us. Come on, guys. Make this count. Make it count. I want to be... Hang on. Where are we? Yep. Yeah, there. <laughs> I want to be changing this number to one. At least in this half. Come on. Right. Come on, guys. Right, Moat with the free kick, and come on, come on, Alex, it, make it better than the last free kick you took. Come on, come on. Right, floated in, straight to a red shirt, and Forrest get it away, and now he gives the free kick. Come on, guys, what? Oh, what has gone on now? God, what what has happened to Garner Hickman? Is is he having? I was I was gonna say Forest fans. Did did the Forest fans do something to Garner Hickman? going on only words okay that's fine but what happened there right okay oh god a hitman whack the ball into the crowd come on taylor come on taylor Oh, oh, he has got booked. Oh, another stupid yellow card. Where is the freaking discipline today? Thank you, Hugo. Neymar, Brazil, best player in the world, I assume that says. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my days. What is going on with our discipline? We've already had Darnell Furlong sent off, and now we've got a kid like Taylor Gardner-Hickman Booting balls into the Nottingham Forest crowd. And he's normally one of the calmest players on the pitch. What is going on with our discipline? 39 minutes into this sec into this first half. Uh, Albion down to 10 men after Darnell Furlong's red card. Uh, after two yellows and a red. And Forest 2-0 to the good. Uh, we, are, we are struggling. We are struggling. I thought... I had high hopes for this one. I really had high hopes for this game. But after seeing this half, I don't know why we're trying to top ourselves for worst halves of the season. Uh, but every time you think we've had the worst half of our entire season, then we get another one like this. No, he slipped. That's not a penalty. Right, Garner Hickman, who is booing, is getting, obviously getting booed by the Forest fans. And gets cheered when he gets tackled by a Forest player. Uh, Brazil's not a bad team. I mean, I'm from England, obviously. Uh, so I'm always going to support England. But yeah, in terms of their history and success in tournaments, yeah, Brazil's pretty good. Um, uh, thank you, Dennis. Uh, the team is falling apart. Team is massively falling apart. Steve Bruce needs to 
say a few words. Uh, I can't repeat them on this stream, but you can imagine what they're going to be. Uh, thankfully, we clear that. But obviously, there's no one forward, so the keeper, like, 10, 15 yards out of his box. But yeah, the team, the team is massively falling apart. I don't know where our discipline's gone. I really don't know where our discipline has gone. Five minutes to half time, we're two 0 down. And you know, I, I thought, I thought Birmingham. You know, I mean, obviously, I've been at work today, so I don't, I didn't see the other, uh, the other games. But when I seen the scores and I seen like Blackpool six, Birmingham one. I was like, what the hell, Birmingham? Uh, it seems like we're trying to out Birmingham, Birmingham. Uh, <laughs> what the hell is going on here, guys? Oh, no, no. Oh. Thankfully. And again, Garner Hickman gets booed. Back to button. Livermore to Garner Hickman. Who guess what gets booed? Uh, that's going to happen all game now. Taylor, what have you done? Taylor's usually... I mean, I've seen him play at the Hawthorns. He's usually the calmest person on the pitch. So when he kicks the ball into the crowd, you know something's gone wrong with the team. Get it. Stop Stop trying to play from the back, guys. Just get it away. I was going to say that was never going to go to Carroll. That's our... Uh, that's, oh, referee spotted that deflection for, for throwing. Referee spotted that deflection. Not the actual deflection that counted, uh, which led to their second goal. So, yeah. Carroll tries to chest it, but his reach loses it. Come on, guys. Two minutes to half time, guys. Story of this half, really, has been Darnell Furlong with a pretty stupid handball, um, who has caused him to get sent off after receiving his second yellow. Uh, so their first goal uh, resulted from the penalty given to Forrest. And there's a bit of controversy with their second goal because, you know, the referee awarded Forrest a throw-in when there was clearly a deflection um, off a Forrest player. So it should have been Albion's throw. Um, Forrest then promptly you know, gained like 10 yards uh, to actually take the throw in and nearly caught us out. But we managed to like save that and get it behind for a corner. Um, but then we just went to sleep arguing with the referee about, you know, about that throw in uh, that should have been ours. And, you know, from that resulting corner, you know, we was on the back foot thanks to the ref and we go 2-0 down. Uh, and then, obviously, you know, Taylor Garner-Hickman getting booed by the Forest fans because uh, after a free kick that, um, you know, we was allowed to play on and then, you know, the ref pulled it back, which, to be honest, he is entitled to do. Uh, but Taylor Garner-Hickman's frustration, uh, after being subbed on for Carlin Grant, after going 2-0 down, it's a free kick to Nottingham just outside the box. Oh, awesome. Uh so, yeah, you know, Taylor Garner-Hickman boots the ball into the Forest crowd and is now getting booed by them, obviously. So, yeah. Uh, Connor, Connor Townsend just lamb blasts uh, the Forest guy. Gives away a needless free kick in a dangerous area. 45 played now. Uh, three minutes. Three minutes added on. Uh, with 2 nil down. And Donnell Furlong's been sent off. Uh, you're from Brazil, bro. You don't understand anything. 
Um, well, I, I'm uh, I'm from England. <laughs> no worries, Hugo. No worries. Um, just hit the subscribe button. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I'm from I'm from England. Um, so yeah, uh, there you go. So I'm from England. Uh, so great to see you. Uh, but I, I don't know what language. Um, I don't know what language uh, Brazil speaks. Is it Spanish? Um, I'm not exactly fluent on Spanish, uh, <laughs> so apologies for that. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm from England. I support West Bromwich Albion. Uh, we're losing two 0 so yeah, <laughs> our season's not gone as we hoped for back in August. Uh, so, but I appreciate you, Hugo. I appreciate you. Uh, <laughs> so yeah. This team, this uh, oh, what? What the actual? What the actual hell? Oh my god, he just, he just volleys it from, oh, it just loops over button. What the, f oh. Okay, fair play to the guy. Fair play for, that's goal of the season, but what the actual hell, man. Oh my god. Oh, I don't believe that. Oh. Jack Colback. It's Jack Colback. 3 0 down before half time. Great goal, I've got to admit, you know, to catch Button out like that, but. Thank you, Hugo. Tamu, goal, KK. <laughs> oh, my days, guys. What? Honestly. Honestly, what is going on? What is going on? We're 3-0 down at half-time. Oh, go on, Adam. Can we get... Oh, he's offside. <sighs> Half time, guys. We could have probably pulled it back from 2-0 down, but... I don't think... I don't think we're going to... Going to get back from this. You know, it will be some feat down to 10 men to pull three goals back. Un Unbelievable. That is, just when we think West Bromwich Albion couldn't get a worse half of football this season, they come up with that. Oh my days, guys. I do not believe what I've just seen in that first half. I mean, Colback's goal at the end there, wow. You know, I, I have to applaud Colback for doing that, but oh, why did we get caught out like that? Why did we get caught out? I, I, don't, I don't believe this team sometimes. I really don't. Uh, thank you, Hugo. Hey, bro, do you know any team from Brazil that is known there? Um... I'm not. Sh I'm not sure if this is um, Brazil or Argentina, but uh, young boys. Uh, that, I'll probably. I'll probably just uh, 
said a club from Argentina instead of Brazil. Uh, so apologies for that if it is from Argentina. But um, or, Oh, Corinthians. I think Corinthians is from Brazil. Uh, but that seems to be the only team that I know, mate. That That's the only team um, that I know from Brazil. Uh, Corinthians. Uh, I hope I've said that right. Um, but yeah, I don't really follow the Brazilian league that much. And I think Young Boys is from Argentina. Uh, Dennis, I can't be asked to watch this. I'm going to sleep. Mate, I do not blame you. I honestly do not blame you. Just when we think they can't pull out a worse half of football, West Bromwich Albion, they come up with that. You know, it, it's it's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. Just end the season now. Get rid of the Deadwood and go again next season. You know, whether it be Steve Bruce in charge, Sean Dyche or someone else. Just get rid of the Deadwood this summer. You know, we got three games to go after this. We're not going to get anything from here. Not with 3-0 down at half time. Um, you know, we just got Coventry on Saturday, uh, then the Reading game at the uh, Majeski Stadium, and then, you know, the final game against Barnsley. Uh, Young Boys is from Switzerland. See what I mean? <laughs> but I think Corinthians is from Brazil. Uh, thank you. What's that? Pound sign. Pound sign slash 8A. Uh, what a name. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate you dropping in, mate. Um, but yeah, if young boy, uh, or is it BSC Young Boys? I don't know. I seem to remember a Young Boys coming from South America. Um, I'm just not sure what part of South America. It could be Argentina, Brazil, or whoever. Uh, but yeah, um, I, I do know. I do know Corinthians. I'm just not sure if they are from Brazil. But yeah, as I said, I, I follow. I follow the Premier League, obviously the Championship where West Bromwich Albion's in currently. Um, obviously League One, League Two in England, uh, Scottish League. Um, you know, most of the European leagues I follow, uh, just not really the South American leagues. Um, so yeah, <laughs> but yeah, guys, um, I'm going to take this opportunity to take a quick break, and yeah, try and recover from that dismal performance from West Bromwich Albion. Um, but yeah, um, I, I honestly don't know what to say to that, guys. I honestly don't know what to say. Uh, Switzerland is in the EU. Yeah, well, <laughs> I, I didn't say I was an absolute expert at European football, uh, but yeah. <laughs> you have to root for the city, bro. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I'm from West Bromwich. It's my hometown. Um, so, yeah, sometimes supporting West Bromwich Albion can be a chore. Uh, but it's my hometown club. You know, I always go for the baggies. I always uh, support them. Um, but, yeah, being my hometown team. But, yeah, guys, I'm going to take this opportunity to take a little break and try and recuperate from that performance. Uh, so, yeah, I have absolutely no idea what's going on with West Bromwich Albion right now. Just end the season now. Get rid of uh, get rid of the Deadwood, and yeah, they're just showing Furlong's first yellow. It was a obstruction. Uh, yeah, obstruction. Darnell Furlong, come on, man. And yeah, well, thanks so much for watching, guys. Um, I will be back for the second half very soon. Just going to take a quick break, and yeah, see you in a bit, guys.
you can work to be deacon. You can either work for anybody from church or church to church. But it's extremely honorable. And that's one of them. You're given in a Monday, Wednesday. Uh, I should have said that. I, I should really sit down and do it every day. We get to Wednesday as well. But one has to go to church. If you want to get a hell of a job, you know, you got to have two kids. That's the way it seems to be. You know, two girls, the husband who doesn't take care of the house, the other one never does a thing. And so on. You know, that's the way it goes. That's the way it goes. So the question is, is can it go on? Well, the second question is, oh, how far is it to go? No, definitely not. Oh, yeah. It may be good. Yeah. Just to actually unbelievable. But I, I think is the actual term we need to say rather than that because it is on that. It is really on that line. And so that is the best thing. And I said I thought uh, I said I thought the Billy Green was just doing the job for Billy, but I do think it's that good. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. I think it's a good. And we're back, guys. We're back. Uh, thank you, Hugo. I'm using Google Translator to speak. I don't even know how I went to your live. Well, I appreciate you dropping in all the same, mate. I appreciate you dropping in. Um, thank you. Thank you for joining the live. And obviously, if you like what you see, Google Translator or otherwise, then obviously, you know, hit that bell icon and subscribe. Uh, hang on, I'm still trying to work out my angles, guys. <laughs> Just, um, you know, hit that subscribe because I'm trying to get to 500 by the end of May. Um, you know, like I said, it is it is going to be, you know, a difficult task. Uh, but I'm hoping to uh, to get it to get it sorted. I mean, this is majority uh, majority. Is that even a word? Uh, it's I don't even know the word. <laughs> It's it's predominantly a football channel, uh, to be honest, uh, dedicated to West Bromwich Albion um, because I do vlogs um, at the home games and I did used to do match reviews for the away, ga away games, but due to work commitments, I haven't really had time to do match reviews on the away games. Um, so for next season, as I said, this is just a test watch along for next season. Obviously, you know, I'm going to, like, try and improve it, um, you know, and maybe get a time, a match timer on, uh, work out how to do that. 
because um, obviously, as you can see, there's no match timer. Um, so, yeah, and also hit me up on my Twitter, my YouTube, um, also my Twitch as well, Crazy Shadow 303. I do competitive gaming there, uh, competitive Formula 1, um, like league racing, uh, amongst a few retro games. Just the other week, I played through the entirety of the Sonic story in Sonic Adventure. Uh, literally the week Sonic um, 2, the movie, came out. Uh, so I played a little bit of Sonic, um, you know, so, so I played a little Sonic for, you know, the Sonic movie release. Uh, and also follow me on TikTok, which I do, or I'm hoping to do some more highlights um, from my Twitch streams. Uh, so, yeah, I didn't have a chance to change this one here. This is obviously this channel. Um, I didn't have a chance to change it to Twitch. Uh, so it's Twitter, Twitch, YouTube and TikTok. All Crazy Shadow 303, guys. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> hope you uh, hope you like. Uh, follow, subscribe, um, join the Shadow Squad. Uh, thank you, Hugo. Knows the Mason's glove, the one who speaks Rikba? Rispa? Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, not quite sure what that means, but thank you. Um... I appreciate you all the same. Um, second half, I think he's about to get underway. Yeah, they're just they're just replaying Forest goals and Furlong's um, Furlong's red card. Uh, they're just replaying that now. Sky Sports and oh Jack Colback's goal. Oh, that is gonna haunt Albion fans. Um, for the rest of their lives. That is going to haunt us. Yeah. Yeah. Referee has... The referees haven't helped us. Steve, Steve Bruce having a word with the referee. On the way down the tunnel. As well. So. You know. Deflection for the... Uh, for the throwing that eventually led to their second goal, which should have been Albion's throw. Ridiculous, these EFL refs sometimes. Uh, let me know, guys. I know it's going to be a difficult task in the second half, but let me know, even if it's just a draw, can we get something from this game? Uh, to be honest, I don't think so. Um, you know, down to 10 men, 3-0 down, you know... Receive grace for that. Thank you, Hugo. I appreciate that. Yeah. Neil, Neil, War Neil Warnock. You know, after after retiring, I knew he would go into punditry. Um. I do, I do a, I do a podcast um, as well for a local TV channel, and we just touched on Neil Warnock last week, just last week, and you know it was like, what are your best memories of Neil Warnock after his retirement? And of course, I, as a Baggies fan, I said Battle of Bramall Lane, um, but yeah, um, I said he might go into punditry on that podcast. Look where he is tonight. Uh, <laughs> He's pun he's he's been a pundit on um on Sky Sports for Forest against Albion. Um but yeah, so Forest kick off the second half. Forest fans in full voice, has to be said. And yeah, let's see if we can make something of this second half, guys. Cause, you know, it's not all been West Bromwich Albion's fault. Some contentious decisions from the referee. Uh, from what they were saying um, on Sky Sports just is that, you know, the linesman gave it an Albion throw, but the referee overruled him. And it was clearly an Albion throw. Um, so, yeah, make of that what you will, which led to their goal, their second goal. Uh, but no excuse for Darnell Furlong. You know, he's let the team down, Darnell Furlong has, with that ridiculous handball. And, yeah... 
absolutely ridiculous. Oh, go on. Where, where's the space? Where's the support, I, I meant to say. Where's the support? Oh yeah, Reading, um, Reading drew 4-4 uh, four, four with Swansea today. And I think Swansea were three goals up. So, hopefully. Oh, that. Oh, oh okay. That's not a penalty. Still booing Taylor Garner-Hickman. But how is that not a foul? How on earth was that not a foul? Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Right, so Forrest have the ball. 47 played. I know we didn't play well against Blackpool, but we managed to dig out a winner from, from that game on Friday. But this West Bromwich Albion team right now, it, it's, it's literally the worst I've ever seen. This Albion team is the worst Albion team I've ever seen, you know, and and that's not saying much considering I only started watching the Albion from you know from the late 1990s, so like turn of the millennium, so you know, <laughs> but it is legit the worst Albion team, and that's way over from Forest, thankfully for us. Uh, so yeah, on Un unreal, unreal this this Albion team right now. 3-0 down, down to 10 men, Donnell Furlong, absolutely stupid red card, stupid handball. And why have they got to keep replaying this damn third goal? Honest, honestly. They're asking whether it was a cross or he meant that. Uh, if you're the player that's done that, you're obviously going to say, well, I meant that. So... But it looked like he was trying to cross it to Sam Surridge and it just looped in over David Button. But, yeah, that goal, that third goal for Forrest, uh, the way it looped over David Button, um, whether it was meant as a cross or not uh, from Jack Colback, um, that is constantly getting replayed now. You know, constant reminder to our, 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 us Baggies fans. And it's going to be an absolute nightmare for us to see time and again. From now until eternity. <laughs> it is. It's that that goal is going to haunt us, isn't it, guys? It is absolutely going to haunt us. That goal. Now, Forrest back on the ball in midfield. That that honestly, they're keeping the ball better than we we have been uh, this game. We've just not been at it. You know. Yes, the red card doesn't help. Yes, the contentious referee decisions don't help but at the end of the day guys you've got to overcome all that and at least play a game of football um i don't know what you guys think about that but yeah at least play a game play the game you know because <laughs> we you know one contentious decision and we just went to sleep for the second goal and the third goal we just got caught out uh and the first goal stupid red card uh for handball and we gave away the penalty so so, yeah. <laughs> right. So, McKenna's got the ball now for Forrest. On the left-hand side. Our right. Trying to work it into midfield. Zink... Oh, sorry. Zink and Argyll, um, Literally just heard the uh, commentator say his name. We get the ball back. Come on, right. Keep it. Oh, that's a foul. Thank you. That's a foul for Albion. They prevented the quick free kick. 50 minutes played, guys. Button's going to take the free kick, try and launch one.
commentators are talking about it. Johnson. Henry Jones, thank you for joining in. Hi, mate. Hi. Um, I wish it was a better scenario, but as it is, we're 3-0 down and down to 10 men. Um, and that was just the first half. So, you know, obviously we're trying to get back into it. But, yeah. Uh, oh, keeper's got it. Their keeper. Uh, but, yeah, welcome on in, Henry. Uh, nice to see you, mate. Uh, if you haven't already done so, then, obviously, you know, if you want to see more content um, like this and... You know, you like this content. I do match vlogs of all the home games because I'm a Hawthorne season ticket holder uh, with my brother, Davin. And, yep, yeah, we do we do match vlogs on this channel, so check those out. We recently went to the Hawthorns on Friday uh, for the Blackpool game where we just just about got past Blackpool. Um, no such luck here at uh, the city ground. Um, but, yeah, if you like what you see, then obviously, you know, subscribe. Um, and yeah, I'm trying to get to 500 subscribers by the end of May. Uh, I know it's uh, going to be a difficult task, just like trying to pull back a free goal deficit uh, with 10 men. Uh, but yeah, um, if you like this stuff, got mate, then yeah, obviously you know subscribe. Uh, and I appreciate you whether you do or not. I appreciate you all the same. Uh, so thank you, Henry. Uh, Okay, that's forced a throw in for the Albion. Right, we, we're ready in another sub. Jason Malumbi's about to come on. So who's going to go off for Malumbi? Alright, that's our throw. Right, who's coming off? 53 minutes played, guys. Malumbi for Moat. So Alex Moat off. Jason Malumbi comes on for the Albion. Let's see. Let's see what you know effect that does. Yeah, Jack Cole back with the uh, with the tackle for uh, an Albion throw. Let's see what um, Jason Malumbi can do. Uh, Alex Moat off. Uh, Daro Shea with the throw here. I think he's going to launch one. Uh, obviously, no Darnell Furlong now because he's been sent off. Uh, so, yeah, let's see if we can launch one here. Carl Bartley's in the box. Is it? Back to O'Shea. And that's not going anywhere. That's safely onto the keeper. That is safely onto the keeper. And he's tried to launch it quick for Forrest. We, we get the ball back. We get the ball back. Back to Button. All the way back to David Button. Ah, oh, couldn't quite make that. Forrest get the ball back. Forrest come again. I think the Albion fans are singing we lost the ball now. <laughs> yeah, sounds like the Albion fans who are at the city ground are singing we lost the ball now. McKenna. Well, at least Albion fans are still trying to make light of it. Uh, the Albion fans are at the city ground. Uh, chance of boing boing. Come on, baggies. Garner Hickman back to Button who launches it. Oh, go on, Carroll. Oh, I couldn't quite make it. Couldn't quite make it. Carroll tried. So here come Forrest again, 55 played. Yep, they're coming through again. They're through again. Oh, good block. Good block, Clark. Good block, um, Kyle. Oh. Well, 
like it looks like a free kick for us. Uh, oh, they they got mixed up there. Uh, two of the Forest players got mixed up, and that's what caused Albion to get the uh, to get the ball back. Albion fans at the City Ground singing "Lord is my shepherd," of course. You know, I mean, at the moment we got to entertain ourselves, uh, and all credit to everyone who's at the City Ground uh, supporting the Albion. Um, but yeah, not much good has gone on on the pitch, but at least the Albion fans at the City Ground are still in full voice. Um, you know, so all credit to everyone who made the trip up to Nottingham today. Um, and yeah, I know it's a bit premature at the moment, but safe journey back. <laughs> so. There's reach. Forrest get the ball away. There's only Dara O'Shea back, but it goes out for an Albion throw, thankfully. Oh, wow. Forrest last beat Albion at the city ground back in 2000, 22 years ago. And 12 years since Forrest have beaten Albion, and that was at the Hawthorns, which is what the commentators have just said. So 12 years since they beat us, 22 years since they beat us at their ground. And... They are literally on the verge of taking out both of those records uh, by beating us currently 3-0 here. Uh, second half possession, Forest 77, uh, us just 23. Yeah, oh, oh, Colback tried. No, we get it back, we get it back. I think Colback was trying to claim penalty, but no. Matt Clark gets tripped, but lucky bounce gives it back to the Albion. Doro Shea. That's only that clearance has only gone as far as the Forest defender. Uh, Henry, what are your opinions on Forest as a club? Um, I've actually got a couple of mates who are Forest fans, and you know, I, I fully respect Nottingham Forest as a club. You know, they've got some great history. They were European champions back in the 80s, I know. Um, yellow card for someone. Uh, Yates for Nottingham Forest, yellow card. Uh, yeah. Yeah, he tripped Malumbi. Um So, yeah, opinions on Forest as a club. I've got full respect for them. Um, I actually do hope that they go into the uh, Premier League because based on this performance alone... You know, you you guys you guys deserve uh, Premier League football next season, Nottingham Forest. Uh, it's been a long time coming. I know that um, because I know there was a time when you and a local club uh, hit from Birmingham. Um, obviously, because I'm like close to Birmingham, Aston Villa. Uh, you guys were trading European titles uh, between Forest and Villa. So, <laughs> so yeah. But I fully respect Nottingham Forest as a club, and like I said. There's a few mates uh, from the company I work for who are Forest fans, uh, so you know they're never they're not going to let me hear the end of this if this stays like this. Uh, hour played, Forest three, Albion nil. Andy Carroll tries to get in, but yeah, I think um, I think Andy Carroll's got a free kick here. I hope so. Anyway. Uh, no, probably not. <laughs> so, no free kick for Andy Carroll there, even though he was like, well, it was a shoulder barge, wasn't it? Um, oh, Matt Clark had to get that. Matt Clark had to clear that. Still back to Forrest, but yeah. As I said, Henry, um, I fully respect Forrest as a club. It's a really great club. You know, a lot of history. And yeah, thank you for the question, mate.
All right, so Gardner and Yates. Oh! What is it with Forrest and trying the long-range shots, man? Oh, Yates almost caught us out. Uh, well wide, well wide, well wide. But oh my days, from the from the initial angle, oh, I thought that was four 0 <laughs> Forest trying their luck again. It's happened for them uh, once before in this game. Uh, but that, yeah, Yates was trying his luck there. You make a Forest defender, and it goes to another Forest player. Good job, guys. <laughs> oh. Zinconago gets it back. The ball's just not bouncing for us now. The ball is really not bouncing for us. Guys, you've got nothing to lose now. Can we at least put Forrest under a bit of pressure, please? Uh, I've got to go, mate. Thanks for the good commentating. I'll drop a sub. Thank you, Henry. I really appreciate it, mate. Um, I, as I said, I do vlogs on West Bromwich Albion home games. Uh, you know, when I'm a... Because I'm an, a Hawthorne season ticket holder. So I vlog all the home games. I'm hoping this is going to be a permanent feature for next season. This is obviously just a test watch along. Um, and yeah, obviously, you know, the graphics like won't be as it is right now. Um, I'll get some like, uh, you know, I'll review this and I'll get some new graphics. And maybe even get a match timer as well. Because I know that's one of the main things that's missing right now. Uh, 63 minutes gone. And yeah, Forrest the 3-0 to the good. But yeah. Thank you, uh, Henry. I really appreciate it. And yeah, have a good night, mate. Have a good night. And thank you for joining the Shadow Squad. <laughs> That's a good ball from Forrest. Oh, but, oh, lucky for us that flick on wasn't. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Henry. Thank you for dropping in. Really appreciate it, mate. Button with a clearance. Oh, couldn't quite drop for Carol. Their keeper collects and bowls it out. Uh, we have about 25 minutes to go to try and rescue a three goal deficit uh, with 10 men. It's going to be difficult, obviously. I mean, this is the Forest uh, team who had a great cup run in the uh, FA Cup. And, you know... Beat the likes of Arsenal in the FA Cup. And, yeah, you know, so don't never rule out Forrest in this promotion race uh, because they are going to be a serious contender. Uh, if this performance is to be believed, um, Forrest are going to be a serious contender for promotion from the playoffs. You know, because the top two, Fulham and Bournemouth, um, Fulham, you could say, are pretty much done and dusted, even though they've lost a few games uh, to both Coventry and Derby, um, who, by the way, Derby have been relegated today. Um, so, you know, they went down fighting, Derby did, uh, but they just couldn't hold out enough. So Derby are definitely relegated. Uh, Barnsley, who are at the bottom at the moment, still have a chance, but their final game is against us at the Hawthorns. And we want to finish strong, so sorry, Barnsley. Uh, oh, what he's got! Oh, I, I, I thought Garner Hickman was going to concede a needless corner. Then 
but Button was there to cover. Uh, Button gets it out. But again, where is that going? That's just gone straight to a red shirt. Oh, where is that going, man? Where is that going? But yeah, uh, as, I was, as I was saying, guys, you know, don't rule out this Forest uh, team in a promotion playoff. You know, much respect for Forest uh, in, in a playoff tournament. You know, so, so yeah. Um, like, if, the, if this performance is to be believed, nearly a through ball there for Forest. Uh, you know, and it's such a stark contrast from last season. Because I don't think they were doing well. They were losing every game. Oh, no. Come on. Oh. John. Uh, no. Thankfully, that's. Yeah, that's back to us. Oh, my days. That that was a chance for Forrest then. That was a chance for Forrest. Uh, but, yeah. You know. I mean, Fulham are pretty much done and dusted. Uh, Derby are relegated. Um, third. Second place is being contested between, you know, Huddersfield and Bournemouth, to be honest. Uh, but as for the rest of the playoff places, you know, don't rule out Forest. You know, I know they they did bottle it a few times. You know, I think one time they started the final day of the season, fifth, and dropped all the way to eighth um, on the last day. So, yeah, I know they've uh, bottled it in some seasons, some recent seasons. But, yeah, don't rule them out. Don't rule Forest out of this playoff place, uh, of this playoff um, tournament. But as for us, if it stays like this, you know, our season's pretty much done. Our season is done. We, we won't survive playoffs playing like this. We definitely won't survive playoffs playing like this. 68 minutes played, guys. Uh, Albion down to 10 men and three goals down. Uh, Forest three, Albion nil. Oh, Colback. That was the position where he scored the third goal. Do not let him there again. Oh, Colback. Oh, thankfully, thankfully for us, he's not trying the shot because it happened to him. You know, it happened once before tonight. Garner Hickman gets through. Where's the support for Garner Hickman? Thankfully, he draws a foul for the Albion. But where is the support for Garner Hickman there? He had to try and take it on. All the, you know, he had to try and take it on. That's uh, that's not good. Uh, league table on September the 21st, as if it's... Uh, yeah. Forest were dead last with just four points, and we were third. And that was the 21st of September. They were 21st. We, they, were, they were dead last, and we were third. Go figure. Uh, that was September the 21st. You know, as if Sky wants to rub any more salt in our wounds. You know. <laughs> Can we get that? No. No, we can't. Good effort, Taylor, but couldn't quite get there. 69 and a half minutes played, guys. Forest 3, Albion 0. Albion down to 10. Right, we get the ball back. Come on, guys. Make at least one of these count. Make the fans who made the trip from West Brom to Nottingham, you know, give them something to cheer about, even if it's just a consolation goal. 20 minutes to go, guys. Still 3-0 to Forest. Oh, Taylor gets through. Where is that going to? Out harmlessly for a Forest goal kick. Carol's wondering what's going on as well. Now Forest are making their first sub. Forest are making their first sub. Uh, but they're carrying on playing right now. Uh, not allowing the sub just yet. 20 minutes played. Uh, Forest 3, West Brom 0. Uh, West Brom down to 10 men. Uh, 
I just don't get this West Brom team. I really don't. Good block there from Townsend. Back to Malumbi to Clark. Oh, good tackle. Good tackle. Jake keeps it alive. Dara Shader. I mean, not O'Shea, yeah. Kind of turns in. Oh, good. Right. Get it through. Get it to Carroll. Oh, what the hell, Cap? Oh. You know it's not going to be your night when Andy Carroll just completely miskicks the ball. You know it's not going to be your night when someone like Andy Carroll miskicks the ball. To the cheers of the uh, Fabius fans as well, by the way. Oh, my days. Sky, stop televising us. We play crap when you televise us. <laughs> Probably going to put more, more of our matches on television because maybe once again we'll be favourites for promotion next season. Uh, not with this team. Forrester just toying with us now. Trying, trying a one-two. Almost pays up. Oh, it does pay off. And, oh, no. Fair tackle. Fair tackle. For a nanosecond, I thought that was another penalty to Forrest. Oh, what? What now? Oh. Too many one-twos for Forrest there. They were almost through. Colback could have took the shot on there, but thankfully for us, he didn't. Misplaced pass. Oh, my days. Oh, my days. Malkia, uh, not sure if that's a fake score or not, but I appreciate you joining. Um... Obviously, I have no moderators on this stream at the moment. But, yeah, I, I know all, I've watched enough watch-alongs to know that fake scores occur. Uh, Matt Phillips comes on for Andy Carroll. Pretty poor from Andy Carroll, but not completely his fault. Forrester basically, you know, isolated him and reduced us to attempted, um, attempted long balls to him. Uh, Scott McKenna comes off and Steve Cook for Forrest. Um, but yeah, I, Malkiat, I know all about, about fake scores. Uh, I've watched I've watched watch-alongs from um, the likes of Troops of Arsenal, um, Eunice of Chelsea, uh, Mark Goldbridge of Manchester United. I've watched some of his as well. So yeah, I'm just doing my own West Bromwich Albion um, watch-along. Uh, so I know about fake scores unless they can score in literally the next few seconds uh, and if and if Albion score in the next few seconds I will apologise to you Malkia but yeah uh, Button go on no 75 played guys 15 to go still 3-0 down to 10 men Darnell Furlong in the first half uh, two yellow cards. Um, second goal, bit contentious because we should have had a throw in clearly, and the throw in put us on the back foot, conceded a corner. They score from the corner, and then, well, from an Albion perspective, the less said about the third goal, the better. But it's going to get replayed time and again, and constantly remind us that Jack Colback basically chipped David Budden. Uh, when he intended a cross. Uh, he's not. He's obviously not going to admit that he tried to cross the ball into Sam Savage. But, but there you go. <laughs> and that's basically... And so 3-0 down at half-time. So that's basically the uh, story of the game. Literally one half. Uh, just when I think West Bromwich Albion can't pull off 
a worse half of football, they're going to prove me wrong with an even worse half of football. So, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, thank you, Malkat, uh, Malkiat. Uh, I appreciate you being in. And, obviously, you know, if you want to, subscribe to the channel. Uh, if, you, if you decide to or not, I appreciate you dropping in. All the same, mate. Uh, so, yeah, here come Forrest again. 76 and a half played. Connor Townsend trying to prevent um, one of their guys. Uh, don't try and play it out. Just clear it. Matt Phillips was being held there. Matt Phillips does well to get the ball back. Oh, go on, Phillips. Go on, Matty. All right, he's got to hold up the ball again. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, Matt Phillips. Well done. Right, can we can we capitalise? Come on. Gardner, Hickman. We're, we're laying every ball now. And it's... Oh, come on. What the... Oh, seriously? O'Shea. O'Shea in the box. Oh, how is that not a penalty? How is that not a penalty? Seriously, how is that not a penalty? I don't think O'Shea would have got to the ball and it was comfortable for the keeper, but... <sighs> what is going on, man? What is going on? This ref... This ref has let a lot for Forrest go, to be honest. Call back again. Oh, good tackle. Good tackle. Get it out. Don't, don't run towards your own goal. Ah! What was that? What was that? Honestly. Right, 78 played, guys. Forrest already in their second sub of the night. Spence is coming off for Forrest. He's had a pretty decent game. He has had a pretty decent game. Standing ovation from the Forest fans. And rightly so. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's a double change for Forest. Uh, Yates is coming off as well. Spence and Yates off. Uh, who's coming on? Who's coming on? Uh, Cafu and Larea. Laria. Cafu and Laria. La... The... Can't, for, can't freaking spell his... Like, pronounce his name. Laria. <laughs> that's... That's all you're gonna get. <laughs> so... Yeah. Um... So it's... It's a double sub from, uh, Forrest. So that's all three of their subs. I think we've still got one more. I'm not sure. Uh, but 79 and a half minutes. 79 and a half minutes. Forest 3 0 to the good against West Bromwich Albion. Okay, Worrell. Forest are just toying with us now. They're playing possession football. They're, they're just toying with us now. You know, I feel sorry. With a performance like this, 10 minutes to, pl 10 minutes to play, guys. 80 gone. 3-0 uh, down and down to 10 men. Terrible performance from the Albion. That's pretty much our season done now. Um, but, you know... Uh, you know who I feel sorry for the most? The fans that travelled to Nottingham uh, today. You know, because their trip back is obviously going to be horrendous. Uh, to be honest, you know, late game. Uh, when everyone else played at half twelves and three o'clocks and five thirties. Uh, EFL decided, now nah, Forest and Albion will be at eight o'clock. Not that I'm complaining because it's allowed me to do this watch along. Uh, but, you know, it's... For, for the fans to have travelled to Nottingham and 
you know, see that kind of performance. I feel sorry for them guys. I feel sorry for them. And one of those guys, you know, is a huge, you know, I'm, I'm starting to, uh, I'm a huge admirer of, shall we say, uh, one of those guys who travelled to the city ground today. Uh, his name's Connor, and he's in charge of, he's the founder and admin of West Brom Fan TV. He's probably doing his his vlog, uh, match vlog right now because he attends as many games as he can. Um, if he can't attend the games, then we've got other people who do the vlogs for him. Um, so yeah, if you want to, guys, hit him up on the YouTube channel, West Brom Fan TV. Um, no doubt he'll be releasing a match vlog later um, after this game. It might not be a very nice one with the way this game's gone. Uh, but still, you know, oh, good block, good block. Can we break? Can we break? No, we can't. Zinconago takes it back. Oh, no. Oh, good save button. Good save. Good save button. But yeah, as I was saying, guys, one of the uh, one of the Albion fans who has travelled to the city ground today, you know, big inspiration of mine, you know, which is, you know, my inspiration for these match vlogs and, you know, for the... For attempting the watch alongs as well. Uh, he doesn't do watch alongs, but kind of from West Brom Fan TV, you know, uh, I've actually been talking to him at recent home games, you know, and he's been giving me tips and tricks for, you know, this channel and really appreciated. And I do feel sorry for him and all the other traveling Baggies fans uh, that have gone to Forest tonight. Um, so yeah, hit him up with a, uh, with a subscription as well. Um, that's West Brom Fan TV uh, if you haven't already done so and yeah he, no doubt he'll be bringing out a match vlog later tonight um, he usually does it pretty quick as well so it'll be like within like half hour of full time he does it pretty quick so yeah but as it stands guys Forest are all over us Forest are all over us Zinconago oh good block good block from Livermore and we get it away I, th I think the damage was done in the first half, guys. You know, 3-0 at half-time, down to 10 men, thanks to Darnell Furlong's red card. Uh, and, yeah, we just gave ourselves a mountain to climb. The referee has not helped situations. Uh, but, yeah, this looks to be season done now, guys. Just get through Coventry, Reading and uh, Barnsley and, you know, just get rid of the Deadwood. Um, whether Steve Bruce stays... Or, as the rumours uh, this week have uh, been predicting, Sean Dyche. Or, even if it's not Bruce or Dyche, someone else. You know, just get this season done, Bruce. Um, you know, maybe we can finish strongly. Uh, maybe not... A, well, all three teams that we've got to face, you know, are beatable. Um, you know, to be honest, even, even... I wouldn't say even with a team like this, but... For local pride, we have to beat Coventry on Saturday. Uh, for local pride, we have to beat Coventry on Saturday. I will be there and I will be doing the match vlog uh, for this channel on Saturday. And yeah, then we've got um, Reading away. Uh, Reading, Hain had a you know, very good season themselves. And yeah, they've, uh, they've been tussling with relegation themselves. I think Reading have done just enough to survive. Uh, despite Peterborough's win today. Uh, and then we've got the team in last. Oh, Matt Phillips is going off on one. Matt Phillips is going off on one. That's going to be another needless yellow card. That is another needless yellow card for an Albion player. Yeah, Matt Phillips has been booked. To the cheers of the Forest fans. So, well, again, again, it's back to throw-ins. It's back to throw-ins. Uh, you know, it, it's ridiculous, man. It's absolutely ridiculous, this referee and linesman. I mean, if it was a forest throw, you know, all credit to the refs, but... Considering one bad decision has cost us a goal, well, 
not completely the referee's fault. You know, I, I, we shouldn't have gone to sleep. But, you know, some of the decisions tonight has been pff, contentious at best. Uh, but, yeah. So, just, uh, just end the season now for us, to be honest. Uh, beat Coventry for local pride. Uh, get something out of Reading, who ain't been playing well this season. They've been tussling with relegation. And finish strongly against Barnsley, who are currently in last place. Uh, and on the fringe of getting relegated themselves, as well as Derby. And, yeah, just, you know, whoever's in charge, be it Steve Bruce or, you know, Sean Dyche or someone else. Just get rid of the Deadwood in this team and go again for promotion next season. Because, yeah... Even if we did manage playoffs, you know, we're, we're like seven, what, six, seven points behind with nine to play for uh, after this game. But if we perform like this uh, in a playoff game, we're not getting through. We're not getting promoted. You know, we'd be lucky to even score the goal in either leg of the second half at this rate. Uh, so, yeah, just uh, just get rid of the deadwood. <laughs> Nearly done, guys. Nearly done. 87, min 87 and a half played. Still Forest 3, Albion 0. We'll be lucky to score a goal here. We might even concede again. Zinconago, you know, gets the corner for Forest. Uh, we've just been outclassed in all areas of the pitch today. Seriously. The Darnell Furlong red card obviously didn't help. Uh, but, yeah, we've just been... That was... Oh, David Button, well done. Well done claiming that. Uh, but, yeah. Huddersfield Barnsley, nice. Uh, on Friday and Luton v Blackpool on Saturday. Okay. And then next, next Monday, Preston v Blackburn. At least we're not getting televised. Uh, we're uh, Saturday 3 o'clock. Uh, <laughs> West Bromwich Albion versus Coventry City. Which, as I said... Oh, we're, we're olaying every one of our passes. Because there ain't been many. Uh, <laughs> that's ours. Oh. Oh, come! Okay, yes. It was offside. But why wait that long when you know it's offside? Why wait that long? Uh, yeah. They're just showing the replays of the red card. And the penalty, which made it 1-0. And then it was a throw-in for us. But that put us on the back foot for the second goal. And then Jack Colback's uh, amazing goal, to be honest. That, you know, There's no other way to describe the last goal. Uh, there's no other way, but yeah, pretty much game done. Forest have another corner. <sighs> yeah. Just game done, guys. Really. We get, they get another corner. Matt Clark clearance for another corner. Seconds to go. Just about to see how, many's, uh, how many minutes for stoppage. But, yeah, we're pretty much done and dusted this season now. We get it away. For every, Forest, every Forest player is being urged to shoot by their fans. <laughs> Three minutes added on. Three more minutes added on. How do we... How do we come back to the Hawthorns after a result like this to face one of our local rivals in Coventry City? How do we come back from this? We have to, obviously. We have to. But, you know, this has just been really frustrating to watch as an Albion fan. Really frustrating to watch. I wanted better for the for this test live uh, this test watch along, you know. <sighs> this this is ridiculous, man. This is ridiculous. How we've played so poorly. Not just 
in this game, but the first half alone, you could say we played so poorly. You know, the wheels started coming off as soon as Darnell Furlong got that first yellow card. You know, before that first yellow card, we were in with a shape. And, yeah, it just, we just imploded. Taylor Gardner-Hickman losing his call. Uh, Matt Phillips losing his call, getting booked. Uh, and, yeah, it's just, it's just not gone our way tonight, guys. It's just not gone our way. Unbelievable. Honestly. Where do we go from here, guys? Where do we go from here? Steve Bruce will have to pick the team up. They have he'll have to pick the team up, probably make a few changes um to the uh to the squad for the Coventry game on Saturday, which I will be vlogging. And yeah. How do, how do we come back? How do we come back from this? How do we come back from this? James Gardner, man of the match for Forest. Well deserved. First in almost everything, you know, in this game. Assists, shots, crosses, interceptions. Second in successful passes in the final third. But the question is, guys, let me know in chat. Where do we go from here going into the game on Saturday against local rivals Coventry? I seriously don't believe I am going to do this. That is ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous. It's probably the last kick of the game as well. No, that's that's on no, that's on that's on Zink and Argo. Forest 4, Albion 0. I was talking just a moment ago. Where do we go from here? They lost to Luton. We beat Blackpool. Full time, guys. Full time. Honestly, going into the game against Coventry on Saturday, where do we go from here? We've just got destroyed 4 0 by Nottingham Forest. Where do we go from here? That is absolute. 3 0 at half time. Full time is 4 0. Honestly, man, honestly, where do Albion go from here? Season's done. You know, that's it now. Season's done. You can forget playoffs. Forget, yeah. You can forget playoffs now. We are done. Championship football next season. Bring it on. Championship. Championship, here we come next season. Just whoever's in charge, whether it's Steve Bruce, whether it's Sean Dosh, whether it's someone else, get rid of the goddamn Deadwood in this team. Get some new blood in. Go again next season in the championship because no doubt we might be favourites again. You know, unless the three teams that get relegated from the Premier League are favourites to go back up. Uh, maybe that's what put the pressure on, you know, for us. Uh, that we were actually one of the favourites, along with Fulham and Bournemouth. Fulham and Bournemouth have coped with it brilliantly. Uh, we obviously haven't. And, yeah. Where do we go from here, guys? Where do we go from here? Forrest just outplayed us at every part of the uh, pitch today. 
Not in a fu I can't believe I'm saying this, guys. You know, we have played so poorly today. Not in a Forest 4. West Bromwich Albion, nil. What the hell, Albion? What the actual hell? Ah, uh, but thanks so much to everyone who, um, who came into this watch along. Uh, and yeah, obviously, as I said, this is a test for next season. Um, I don't think Reading's televised, so I probably won't do the Reading watch along. But I'll be at the Hawthorns on Saturday for West Bromwich Albion versus Coventry. Uh, like I said, how do we prepare for Coventry now, you know, after losing 4 0 to Forest? How do we prepare? We've got some work to do. Uh, Steve Bruce and West Bromwich Albion have got some work to do this week. Uh, this is absolutely ridiculous. Birmingham lose to Blackpool 6 1. You know, Coventry lose 3 0 to Bournemouth. It has not been a good day for the Midland clubs. It has really not been a good day for the Midland clubs. And Birmingham's been the only Midland club to score. You know, ridiculous, man. Absolutely ridiculous. Uh, but we go again on Saturday at the Hawthorns against Coventry. Um, I'm obviously going to be there and I will get out a match vlog on this channel. Um, you know, because I'm attending the game, you know, Hawthorns season ticket holder. Uh, no matter how badly the team's playing, I will always attend Albion games. And, yeah, so... Yeah, they're just showing the bottom half of the table. Not interested in that. We go down to 12th. We go down to 12th. Six points off. Uh, not enough Forest. Pretty much like five points ahead of Millwall in seventh. So not enough Forest. They've pretty much consolidated their um, their hopes. Um, so it looks like, you know, possibly Huddersfield or Bournemouth, whoever doesn't get auto promotion. Um, it looks like Luton and, you know, obviously Sheffield United are... You know, looking over their shoulders at the likes of Millwall and that. Uh, but as for us, that's pretty much season done. Uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. And, yeah, just get rid of the deadwood. Get this season over and done with. And go again next season. That's what I say. But, yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. If you like this, then, obviously, you know, hit that like button. Uh, the subscriber goal is 500 uh, before the end of May. Really tough feat. Even tougher than what West Brom has just had to try and do. Uh, coming from four goals down. Um, well, three goals for most of the game. And, yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. And I'll see you in the next one on Saturday. Uh, match vlog, um, obviously, West Bromwich Albion versus Coventry. Just playing for local pride now. And thank you, guys. And, yeah, bye for now, mate. Bye for now. Uh, Forest 4, Albion 0.